how to calculate the number of hosts and the subnet from any IP address. So let's suppose this is one of the IP address. <coughs> 192 168 10.10 .10, and they give the like slash 25 so this is the your ip address and this is your subnet mass based on that they have to ask can you just tell me what is the first ip usable and what is the last usable ip address and what is the network id of this and what is the subnet mass of this and how many subnet we can make from this particular network so it's very simple we have to understand the ending process which we did in the previous lecture right ending process is going to give the network address means what is the network address and what is the subnet mask and based on that, you are going to figure it out how the first IP is going to be there and what is the last IP is going to be there. So first of all, if you want to calculate the subnet mass and the network ID and any maximum host that is going to be used, then you have to understand some formula that is a subnetting formula. Then let me, we'll do that exercise as well, but let me just start with how it is going to happen. So why subnetting is very important. <clears throat> so subnetting is the critical task, as you can see in the slide. It's just going to help you to set up a network which is going to divide a large network into the small network. That's the very like you have the large network, you want to divide the small, small network that subnetting is going to help you. So it is just going to use a different, different blocks so that you can manage IP addressing and subnet very efficiently. That's how your subnetting is going to come in a picture.